What's going on guys? I'm back with another video today. Got another Com C package that just came back in the mail. Had bought a bunch of cards, I think a couple weeks ago, and they finally came back in. And I don't know how you guys feel, but every time I buy Com C packages, it tells me when I select the free shipping option, it'll take about a month to get back. And then it comes back in two weeks and three weeks. It's insane. I don't get it, which I'm not complaining. I think that's great because the free option is five bucks. And then if you pay for if if you pay for the, the quick shipping, I think it's an extra 10 or 15 bucks. All right. So I got all the pieces of paper out. Those things are a pain in the fucking balls considering they put one with each card. But I digress. Got all of them out. And there's actually only two different types of cards in this lot. We have Marvel Platinum and we have Game of Thrones. So just gonna start off, starting off with some Marvel Platinum here. We got some Black Widow. This is the yellow spotlight. These are numbered to three ninety nine. I decided to pick all these Marvel, all these Marvel Platinum cards were I think maybe less than a dollar or maybe a little bit more than a dollar, which is not bad to be honest with you. So decided to pick some more up that I needed for. I guess the small rainbows that I'm going for. So we got a Black Widow there. And then another decent sized one. We got Uatu the Watcher. This is a red prism numbered to 199. I have a couple of the, the smaller parallels of this. Picking him up. Watched the What If series on Disney Plus. If you haven't seen that, that's amazing. Probably one of the one of my more favorite Marvel shows I've watched. So we got Uatu the Watcher there. And then got one Game of Thrones autograph here. We got Enzo K Kalenti, Salenti. This is Yezin Zo Quagas. I don't know what set this from. 2015, so maybe season four or five. So we got that there. Then we got Scarlet Witch, the yellow spotlight. I have all the lower parallels of this, to be honest with you. Some of these some of these parallels are fucking expensive, bro. Some of these are expensive. I'm not I don't have any of the expensive ones yet. So yeah, we got Jackal here on the yellow spotlight. I have one of the lower parallels of this. I have the violet pixels, I believe, which are numbered to 35. And I have the violet pixels of this one as well. But this one's Tarantula from ASM. I'm almost certain that's the first appearance he made. So ASM 134, which is pretty early on. And I think, isn't Spider-Man up to 600 issues? Maybe 700? Might even be more than that, to be honest with you. I'm not 100% sure. And we got Vision here on the Teal Wave. These are number two, 799. We got 669 out of 799. There we go. We got another Black Widow, Teal Wave. Yeah, I think oh, those are only two Black Widow cards that I have. And then here's another Jackal. So I have, I have a pretty good amount of Jackal cards so far. Maybe I'll go for the full parallel or for the full rainbow. Except for the one on ones. One on ones of these cards go for thousands of dollars. Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, we got that there. And then another red prism, but Scarlet Witch got the color match there, red on red. Got vision in the background as well. That's sick. Maybe that isn't first appearance. I don't think she made her first appearance in West Coast Avengers 34. Maybe that's just where the picture's from. Because I'm almost certain her first appearance is X-Men number four. Because that's my that's the book that my dad's trying to go for heavily. Because, I mean, X-Men number four. Why is X-Men number four? Who Who's the big first appearance in X-Men number four? Is it... I don't think it's... Is it Wolverine? Yeah, I'm getting my books mixed up. Uh, X-Men number four was, was actually, for sure, Scarlet Witch. But it's also Quicksilver. And Wolverine is actually Hulk 181. I should have known that. I, I need to be better. <sighs> I'm not sure. Maybe I'll throw it up on the screen. I think it's Wolverine. I think it is. Well, we got Green Goblin here, Teal Wave, number 799. And then we have Spot here. Sick looking card. Can't wait for the new, uh, what is it? Across the Spider-Verse Part 2? I think it's coming out 2025, which should be sick. I can't wait for that movie. That's, oh my God. That, this is the first and second one of those movies. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful movies. And then we have, actually, let's just do this one first. So we have Uatu the Watcher, another one, but this is the yellow spotlight there. And then all these final cards are Game of Thrones autographs. So we got Staz Nair as Kuono, Kuono. We got Kuono there. 
And then we have James Faulkner as, uh, this is Samwell's dad, something Tarly, Randall Tarly, that's Randall Tarly from 2017, Randall there, and then we have Susan Brown as Septa something, Septa Mordain, Septa Mordain, I don't really remember her, this might be a season one or two autographs, pretty early on, 2012 there, that might be season one, so we got that there, and then we have a Emun Elliott as Marillion, another 2012 one, so maybe another season one or two, that's huge. I don't think I have any so far, so maybe now I do, that's huge. And then last but not least, we have Noah Taylor as Locke, 2013, another early one. All these Game of Thrones autographs I bought on Compsy for maybe six or seven bucks, I sent in offers or they were just up there for cheap, so I decided to pick a bunch of them up and that is the haul, so... Let me know what you guys think. I have, oh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six more Game of Thrones autographs to check off my list, along with a bunch more Marvel Platinum data collection. So let me know what you guys think. You collect any of these cards, let me know down below. I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Till the next video. Mom.